Could you describe your pain from one to 10? is my most favorite question that I get asked by doctors on a consistent basis. I was being sarcastic. And it's not really the doctor's fault, it's kind of just a question that they have to ask, but as long as I've been asked it, it's been a question that always baffles me and confuses me, because how am I supposed to fully describe the pain that I feel, the complex feelings on a scale of one to 10? Pain is different. I mean, you've got like period pain, which is different to migraine pain, which is different to joint pain, it's all, different and to kind of have a scale of numbers to describe that to me is inadequate. It's all subjective, not only just the pain that we feel and we will all feel things differently, but the idea of how we rate numbers and how we value them is also subjective. One person's six might be more severe than another person's six. Look, this isn't even about anybody's fault as to why this scale is insufficient in describing pain, so I'm not blaming anyone. It's about the nature of physical pain itself. It is hard to transfer that and to fully make someone else understand what you're going through. Both numbers and language are insufficient sufficient at doing that. It's not enough. You might be able to get close, but it's never going to be a full understanding of what someone else is going through. A few years after my diagnosis, I kind of wanted to explore different ways that pain was talked about and expressed, and I stumbled upon a video by the author and YouTuber John Green, who also experiences a lot of pain, as well as his brother Hank. He essentially talks about the concept of physical pain and the fact that it is almost impossible to share with someone else so that they can fully understand exactly what you're going through. One of the problems with physical pain, I mean aside from the pain itself, which for me at least is literally maddening, is that physical pain is essentially unshareable. It's very, very hard, if not impossible, to bridge that empathy gap. So yeah, the pain scale might be insufficient, but even the use of words of how I'm supposed to describe how I'm feeling to someone else, it's also not enough. And here's the thing, a lot of people that follow this channel and this page also have chronic pain, so that empathy gap is smaller but I don't think it'll ever be completely closed because none of us will be able to understand exactly how each other feel. Anyway, the YouTube video from John Green led me to a book by an author called Elaine Scarry. It's called The Body in Pain. One of the quotes that stuck out to me the most was this, to have great pain is to have certainty, to hear that another person has pain is to have doubt. And to be honest, doubt is what scares me the most. Doubt is scary to me, especially as a person with an invisible condition because of the nature of the way my condition is, right? So I experience chronic pain. Most of the time, it's especially joint pain and muscle aches on a day-to-day -day basis. But there are multiple factors that play into the idea of someone doubting that that pain exists. Not only is it hard to share, as I've been explaining throughout this whole video, but I don't necessarily have visible markers on me that show that that pain exists. All of that is a breeding ground for doubt. And that doubt comes from a really deep place, a place where when I was first trying to explain to a doctor what I had, they didn't believe me. And that doubt doesn't ever leave you. And you even consistently doubt yourself. It's almost been six years since I've had lupus and I still doubt myself. Now I kind of have new ways to try and describe pain to people and rather than actually trying to describe it so they can understand me, which I don't think will ever be sufficient, I try to use examples of things I can't do anymore because of it. My joint pain is a perfect example of this. It varies on intensity. I pretty much have joint pain every single day, but on many days where I can function quite well, it's not that bad. And so much so that I'm able to work, I'm able to get out of bed, I'm able to talk, I'm able to dance, I'm able to party still have the pain, but I can do those things. And there are other days where I can't speak, I can't work, I can't think, I can't concentrate, and I can't sleep. It's trying to make someone put themselves in a position that if they were experiencing so much pain that they weren't able to talk and they weren't able to think or go to sleep, how intense that pain would feel for them. One of my alternatives that I had in my mind was making a machine that would make someone feel the pain that I was feeling. But then we all saw that Black Mirror episode and that really didn't end well, so I guess that's off the table. Thank you so much for watching that video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I haven't made a video in a very long time for this channel. I appreciate the patience and the care that everyone has and no one's been rushing me, so I can't really complain, but I do appreciate it. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching that video. If you're watching this on YouTube and you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be made aware of whenever. I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.